as we mentioned at the beginning of the newscast, for the third consecutive day, the state hit another record in the daily reported cases of COVID-19. 73 new cases today, the bulk of them on Oahu, five on Maui. Two Oahu cases have also been removed from the total count because of updated information. But our statewide total now at 1,620, 450 of, 453 of which are active. Health officials say this week's jump in cases is a result of people relaxing on safe practices from the 4th of July holiday forward. They're also seeing more cases among younger to middle-aged adults, many of whom attended gatherings or socialized at bars. Kimberly Speakman reports. Officials tell me that the rise in cases is due to people letting their guards down, even gathering while not wearing masks. I learned this morning that we have a bar cluster now. And we're going to be meeting on Monday to decide what do we do about bars because they were one of the most risky things we opened. Can we be more targeted and strategic? He says earlier this week a bar was packed with people not wearing masks and several of the staff members and patrons that were there have tested positive for COVID-19. And the Department of Health is also seeing a spike in young people. 15 people under the age of 18 have tested positive for the virus. Those who were reporting were... Uh... Uh, saying that they had attended gatherings, uh, they were socializing in bars and uh, restaurants, attending birthday parties, uh, weddings, and, and other events. So, you know, again, people are letting their guard down. He says they have over 400 people now trained in contact tracing, along with 170 staffers across the state who can also trace. But people have to do their part. If not, he says they may have to scale back to reduce the rate of transmission. And that may include um, uh, reinstituting, reinstituting restrictions and, and uh, closures that were previously in place. Bars, nightclubs, gyms, um, dining services, uh, and obviously dialing back on, on uh, large gatherings. And it could affect school reopening on August 4th. We, we would not want to open our schools for in-class learning. Uh, if we had high rates of disease in our community. Officials are asking people to start with this weekend to turn things around. It's going to be a rough August, especially if we don't quickly put this fire out. So I would just implore everybody, just please uh, do not go out this weekend for numerous reasons. I'm told there will be more discussions starting on Monday on how to deal with this large spike of COVID-19 cases. Mayor Kirk Caldwell says they'll look into whether they need to do specific closures or add another mandate. Kimberly Speakman, K2N2 News, working for Hawaii.